Pani Marszałek, słuchacze Radia Wnet wiedzą, że odwiedziła Pani Odessę Mikołajów, przekazała Pani tam dary i spotkała się z Legionem Gruzińskim. Dear Mrs. Gosiuska, the listeners of Radio WNet know that you visited Odessa. Mikołajów gave out gifts there and met with the Georgian Legion. Was it just a meeting? There was help, very specific help that the Georgians were waiting for, but there were also conversations. We were thinking of mutual friends. These are also talks about the health and situation of President Saakashvili, the situation in Georgia in general, solutions for Georgia in the near future. Georgians are fighting for Ukraine now. They are fighting against Russia, the same Russia that attacked Georgia in 2008. But they think about Georgia all the time and have Georgia in their hearts. They believe that winning in Ukraine means also be a win for Georgia, regaining the territories of Abkhazia, the so-called South Ossetia, but also the change of the political situation in Georgia. Everyone is waiting for this change. Talking to them, I had the impression that they are a bit like the Belarusians, that they are fighting for Ukraine now, but one day they would like to put their country in order. Yes, obviously I'm talking about it, too. We talked and discussed the President Saakashvili's health condition. They believe that the war will end here and then they will return to Georgia to put the country in order. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for them because the situation in Georgia is terrifying at the moment. A country ruled by one oligarch, a Russian thug, a man who holds the whole country in his hands, who does not allow a break in the sentence for the dying President Saakashvili, the man who reformed this country. This is a man who came to his country to fight for it, because without this country, without his homeland, he could not live. This man is now dying in front of the whole world. We, through various diplomatic channels and direct bilateral talks, as well as international actions, are speak up for Saakashvili. We are ready to send a plane at any time to take him to Poland for treatment. But unfortunately, talks with the Prime Minister of Georgia or the Minister of Internal Affairs do not bring any results because they follow Bidzina Ivanishvili's orders. It's a bit sad that this country, which we treated as such an example among post-Soviet states of an anti-Russian state, is becoming something completely opposite. It's true. It was a country that in the Caucasus served as an example with the reforms carried out, the fight against corruption, banditry, drug trafficking, etc. It is now regressing. Educated young people are fleeing because there are no prospects for them. In addition, a large breakdown in the opposition. It is not difficult to guess that it was inspired from the outside. It's a real shame. This is no longer the Georgia we once loved. I am sure that, just like the Georgians fighting in the Georgian Legion and their commander, I also believe that the Ukraine's victory, our victory over the Russian Federation, will also mean a change for Georgia. We must remember that in the possible agreements with Russia and peace talks we also must take into consideration the issues related to the effects of the 2008 war, i.e., taking away almost a third of Georgia's territory, i.e., Abkhazia, South Ossetia and Transnistria in the context of Moldova. These must be decisions that will stabilize the situation in a broader context, not only in Ukraine.